feeling stressed? Of course you are. You have too much on your plate. Deadlines are looming. People are counting on you. And to top it all off, you still have holiday shopping to do. You are under a lot of pressure. So much that at times you suspect the quality of your work suffers for it. This is life in the modern workplace. It is more or less impossible to be any kind of professional these days and not experience frequent bouts of intense stress. Now, so the, when it comes to stress management, a great technique is humor. And so if there is a, a movie that makes you laugh or cheers you up and gives you a break in that way, but if you're already feeling really down, maybe you don't want to watch Old Yeller and stay there or something. So paying attention to that. The difference between those who are successful and those who are not is not whether or not you suffer from stress, but how you deal with it when you do. Have self-compassion. Self-compassion is, in essence, cutting yourself some slack. It's being willing to look at your mistakes or failures with kindness and understanding, without harsh criticism or defensiveness. Studies show that people who are self-compassionate are happier, more optimistic, and less anxious and depressed. That's probably not surprising, but there are the kicker. They are more successful too. Most of us believe that we need to be hard on ourselves to perform at our best, but it turns out that's 100% wrong. A dose of self-compassion when things are at their most difficult can reduce your stress and improve your performance by making it easier to learn from your mistakes. So remember that to err in human and give yourself a break. Take five minutes to do something you find interesting. If if there were something you could add to your car's engine so that after driving it's a hundred mile you would end up with more gas in the tank than you started with wouldn't you use it? Even if nothing like that exists for your car just yet, there is something you can do for yourself that will have the same effect. Doing something interesting, it doesn't matter what it is as long as it interests you. Recent research shows that interest doesn't just keep you going despite fatigue, it actually replenishes your energy and then that replenished energy flows into whatever you do next. Keep these two very important points in mind. First, interesting is not the same thing as pleasant, fun or relaxing. Taking a lunch break might be relaxing and if the food is good it will probably be pleasant but unless you are eating at the hot new molecular gastronomy restaurant it probably won't be interesting. So it won't replenish your energy. Second, interesting does not have to mean effortless. The same studies that showed that interest replenished energy showed that it did so even when the interesting task was difficult and required effort. So you actually don't have to take it easy to refill your tank. Think about the progress that you have already made. Of all the things that can boost emotions, motivation and perceptions during a work day, the single most important is making progress in meaningful work. This is what Teresa M. Bile and Stephen Caramel refer to as the progress principle. The idea is that it's the small wins that keep us going, particularly in the face of stressors. Psychologically, it's often not whether we are reached our goal, but the rate at which we are closing the gap between where we are now and where we want to end up. That determines how we feel. It can be enormously helpful to take a moment and reflect on what you have accomplished so far before turning your attention to the challenges that remain ahead. Put some or all of these strategies for fighting stress and you will see real changes not only in the workplace but in every area of your life. With the holidays around the corner, you might want to work on creating a few if 
than for dealing with the relatives too if i am about to lose my mind then i have some more knock <laughs> works wonder for me so tell me in the comment section what you think about these strategies thank you so much